The Giga is well spec for the price. It's got brakes that we all liked, high-end suspension that worked well, good drivetrain, aluminum wheels. There's really nothing you need to change right away. It's also relatively light. We mentioned this has the most travel out of all the bikes in this test, but it's kind of in the middle of the road for the other, compared to the other bikes as far as weight goes. So that's a, a feature worth highlighting. You really want to make sure you have the terrain that warrants a 180, 180 bike. You know, it, as we're saying, it's like fairly easy to ride, but again, like you don't want to just take this on mellower rides. It's a little boring in that context. So on the right terrain, it really comes alive.